in one part one we'll first expand the brackets leave the negative until later so 3x squared plus 6x take 5x take 10 collect like terms within the brackets so 3x squared plus x take 10 and now a negative carries through so each term will change sign and there's our result part 2 using foil we're going to get 6 root 7 minus 6 now the root 7 times the bracket will give us minus 2 times 7 which is minus 14 then positive 2 times root 7 collect like terms we have 8 root 7 take 20 For this question here needs to be done without the calculator and therefore showing all steps we could break 92 down into say 9 times 8 so root 9 times root 8 now root 9 is 3 root 8 is 4 by 2 so root 4 root 2 so we end up with 3 times by 2 which is 6 root 2 you can get that answer using the plus calculator if you enter root 72 it'll give you 6 root 2 therefore not worth any marks you must show working out likewise here you can enter that into the calculator it'll give you the answer but we need to simplify that and show the calculations so root 6 can be rewritten as root 3 times by root 2 and now root 3 times root 3 is 3 with the root 2 once again this can be done on the plus but what we should do is show that that becomes 45 on 5 under the 1 square root which is then root 9 which is then equal to 3 3 part 1 we need to factorise and therefore no quadratic formula so here we have a unitary quadratic so we'll have x times by x for the first term and the last term numbers must multiply to make negative 20 so in this case they'll turn out to be plus 10 times by minus 2 and these numbers add to make the plus 8 and therefore a solution would be x equals negative 10 from the first bracket or positive 2 from the second bracket part 2 first thing we can do is take out a common factor of 2 and we'll look with x squared takes 16 and in that brackets we now have the difference of two squares which gives me two sets of brackets each one being the same except the sign will be x plus 4 and x take 4 and now solving that we end up with minus 4 plus 4 or plus and minus 4 as the solutions this one the x is a problem so multiply everything by x would give us x squared plus 48 equals negative 19x that's a quadratic so you make one side equal to zero and once we've done that we can then factorize so in this case right, 3 times by 16 would make the 48 and 3 plus 16 would make the 19 so that has now been factorised and the solutions are negative 3 or negative 16. Now part 4, some of you expanded the brackets first. The question says factorise and then solve. So factorising that you would take out the common factor of x plus 5. And then the remaining factors would go in another set of brackets. Make sure you put brackets around the x take 1 because this negative will act on both parts eventually. So the x plus 5 out in front we leave alone. Inside the large brackets we expand and collect. I've got 3x take x which is 2x. I've got 15 plus 1 which is 16. And we now could take out a factor of 2 from that bracket. And now that is fully factorised. And now solving, we'd end up with negative 5 or negative 8. 
Once again, the calculator can be used to solve that, but I think from memory most of you did do it by multiplying by the conjugate of the denominator. So that would be 2 plus 3i on itself. Now the uh, denominators are the sum of 2 squared, so we get 2 squared plus negative 3 all squared. And on top we get to use FOIL. And the final term would be minus 15i squared. Now the i squared becomes minus 1. Let's make that a plus 15. Collecting like terms, we get 23 plus 2i all over 13. And the question does say in the form A plus BI, so we should separate it into two parts, both parts of the numerator divided by the 13. Now question six, we need to state the values of the discriminant. And we've given you an example here. So answers will be in this form here, less than, equal to, or greater than zero. So that quadratic has two x-intercepts, two solutions, two distinct solutions would mean the discriminant is positive. Over here we have one repeated solution and therefore the discriminant is equal to zero. Question seven, we wrote in bold, make sure you expand. I don't know how many people didn't. You need to read the questions carefully. If we have complex um, Roots as we have here, don't do x take one, x take the other as your factors. Use the sum and the product of the roots. So we end up with the i root 11s cancelling out and 3 plus 3 being 6. Now the product of the roots, we would multiply our conjugates together, which once again gives us the sum of two squares, so 3 squared and negative root 11 squared, which will give us 20. And therefore, our equation would be multiples of x squared take the sum times an x plus the product. Now we have a point 311, which we need to substitute in order to work out the value of a. So we get 3 squared take 6 times by 3 plus 20, Add it up and we'll get 11 equals 11a. So therefore a equals 1. And the equation becomes 1 times by x squared takes 6x plus 20. Right, next one we have a vertex. Therefore we use the turning point form. So we have y equals multiples of x take negative 3 all squared and then take 5. Once again, our point we need to substitute in order to work out the value of a. Now, when we substitute x equals negative 1, we would end up with uh, 2 squared, which is 4. A number of you now did 4 take 5 to get minus 1. Remember bed mass. The 4 and the a are multiplying. Move the 5 across the other side, it'll add, and we end up with negative 3 equals 4a. And now divide the 4 across the other side, and we get our value of negative 3 quarters. Therefore, in expanded form, we need to write the equation. So, I need one more line after this. And if you expand all that there, you end up with this result here. In this case, we're after all quadratics. And therefore, we'd have multiples of, we have the x-axis intercepts, it's x take negative 2, and it's x take 5. That needs to be expanded to get this quadratic, and now the a will multiply each term. We can either have equals 0, or we'd have y equals, and that would be the same solution. Question 8 is a matter of expanding and then equating left side with right side, so I'll expand the brackets. And we end up with this equation here. Now if we equate terms, the non-surge, the 2a plus 6b 
must equal to 34 and the minus AB minus 4 equals negative 24. This one we can divide everything by 2, simplify the equation. Now I'm going to get A by itself here, move the 3B across, call that equation number 1. This equation can be simplified. We'd end up with AB equals 20. So we'll call that equation 2. So we'll sub 1 into 2. And we end up with AB equals 20 being rewritten. Expand the brackets. And we end up with a quadratic equation. And we can use the calculator to solve for B. We end up with two solutions for B. And then we have two solutions for A. If B equals 4, we got uh, 4, 3 to 12. So 17 take 12 is 5. If B is 5 thirds, and the 3 cancels out, we've got 17 take 5, which is 12. All right, part one of question nine, we've got to work out the discriminant. So B squared take 4AC. In this case, will be K plus 3 squared. Take 4 times by K times by negative 1, which makes it a plus. Expand your brackets, get the perfect square. And collect like terms, 